Okay, let me just put this in short. Omarji is literally one of the biggest Linux success of all time. Period. And the reason I'm saying this is not just because, you know, like, it's not all about numbers. It's about the strength and how it's actually going viral among actual enthusiasts who want proper control over their system, but also want all the goodies of Arch, Linux, and Hyperland out of the box. And Omarji is just perfect, like perfect. No distribution has ever come close what Omarchi has done this time. Well, let me just start with what's new in this update, Omarchi 3.0. So, this one has a major upgrade, especially for installers. For the first time in the history of Omarchi, we can actually install it through an ISO. At last, it has a proper dedicated ISO, which is really awesome. You get Arch Linux plus all the goodies of Hyperland plus all the other stuff which Omarchi is known for in a single ISO all packed in. The best installation process I've ever seen in my life. Yes, you cannot do manual partitioning and dual booting, but it's still good. And I like it this way, to be honest. It's pretty simple, fast, and way better than Windows and other distributions. And yeah, that actually reminds me. The ISO is actually around 7 GBs, which includes the whole system, the full system. And if you have a fast SSD and a really nice USB from which you are installing it, you can literally install it less than two minutes. Yes, I'm seeing that. And now let's talk about the real thing, okay? So what I've seen just now, now my Wi-Fi is working. Previously it wasn't somehow. And now this time, Omarchi's actually had support for MacBooks. I don't know how to say this. MacBooks, can you believe it? T1 and T2 security chips, T2 Max, it has it on. And if your MacBook was released around 2013 to 2015, it's get a really nice Wi-Fi support as well. Like, yeah, there are still problems with the newer ones. And it's hard to install it on ARM processes. But if you have an older model, it's going to work flawlessly. And now, screen capture was already good, but now it's way better. And you get a proper indicator, a dot on the top file recording. So yes, that is nice. And you have option to sign in with Google account and set, you know, provide settings sync from Chromium. Yes, you can do that. And then we have a lot of other stuff as well. But besides that, let me just tell you what my experience was. The overall flexibility, I've seen some amazing things. For example, like there's a new bootloader, which feels really beautiful. And then we have a boot animation. And then the way it actually logins and then starts the whole distro is really nice. And even better, you have a lock, like, I don't know how to say this. It's not even lock screen, it's a screensaver. And this screensaver is literally my favorite. Yep, those are things which I felt were actually changed through my eyes. But under the hood, there have been a lot of other stuff going on. Well, we have a lot of new hotkeys. I'm not going to even start there. But still, talking about the overall visuals I've seen, we have blurred backgrounds and lock screens. Theme switching in Kitty Terminal. Theme switching for Brave. And now it has proper audio output, which is valid among all the outputs. Like at last I was able to properly tune my mic. That's why my voice is like this. And there have been a lot of fixes in the hyperend configuration as well. There were a lot of issues and bugs. But still at last we have this now. And yes, this is how the you know screen looks like. The screen saver. Boom Archie, it's just perfect. It's gonna go on with this until I press a key or you know touch my mouse. But to be honest, this is the best screensaver I've ever seen. Windows, you're not so good anymore because Omarchi has taken your place. And you know the best thing about it is that it doesn't need any internet to install. Like even on some distributions, like most of them, if you need proper driver support out of the box just after the installation. You're gonna have to select, you know, install drivers in Codex Online or Multimedia Codex. But here in this 7 GBs of ISO, you have everything out of the box. And yes, talking about out of the box experience, most of the stuff was already pre-configured, so I didn't have to do anything. And yes, I, I accept, there is a little bloatware. But it's not bloat to be honest, it's just, they're all web apps. They're all PPAs. They're not even proper applications which will be done in the background. So you don't have to worry about that. Now leaving that, the whole workflow free is better. And yes, my mouse as well. Somehow my touchpad is now way smoother than ever. I don't know how. 
I don't know how high plan and particularly Linux does it that I feel way better when I'm using Linux and now my display is very accurate I'm just talking about my own personal experience and yeah if I were to actually just you know show you the overall display and everything like I've installed it here so this is our Rofi or GoFi as you can see there are a lot of weird applications out of the box now I don't use most of them but it's nice to have them these are all just PBAs like Discord chat gpt github figma google photos there's no harm in keeping them and then we have this the best place which i've ever seen you can actually learn all the hotkeys omar cheese guide how to use hyperland if you don't know how to use arch you can do that as well new them i really needed this and then we have these you can actually you know trigger means just you screenshot your tt tool that's it but the main thing is in the setup you can actually set up so many things like actually let's say if you want to change your monitor configuration you can change it from here just like that or let's say you want to edit your hyperland configuration or just some keybind things you can change the keyboard shortcuts from here and then let's say you want something else like maybe i don't know maybe btop because i actually use btop a lot and it just works flawlessly we can easily see the battery usage it's right now 28 watts the reason it is 28 watts and it is using a little amount of gpu and ram is because i have my obs recording the screen right now but besides that everything is good let me just show you the other things which i like for example the wi-fi menu literally one of the best wi-fi menus i've ever seen then we have similarly a bluetooth menu similar then we have a battery and other stuff but the thing which I like the most is power control which allows me to properly adjust everything by myself and now that's not the only thing let's say you want to install something for example AUR if you want AUR support just enter and it's gonna actually do everything like it's like a script you can easily install AUR repositories and the whole AUR from here for example I want pfetch okay oh there we go pfetch enter and it's gonna install it it's just so simple and so convenient you don't get such a great thing out of the box in any distribution even if you try to set it up by yourself it's gonna be really hard thanks to the developer Omachi is literally a lifesaver for a lot of people and that is why so many people are actually installing Omachi and creating Omachi setups and there we go we're done now when I open pfetch like this there we go and that's not the only thing you can actually set a fingerprint like go to go to security fingerprint and now it's going to install the fingerprint driver just like that this is so convenient and then not just that let's say you want to set up something else for example you want to change all the configurations whether they are from hyperland hyper hyperlock walkers v x compose all the components of the desktop you can customize them if you have the knowledge not just that you can update everything from one place like this you have Omarchi, branch, configuration, themes, process, hardware, password, time zone, everything. It's all about the convenience of how good these things are. And yes, let's say you want to install a DaVinci Resolve Studio or something like that. Let's say I want to install something from development, for example, JavaScript, .NET, Rust, Docker. Everything is available at my fingertips. These are the powers of Linux. And then we have DUIs as well. That reminds me of something. Why don't I show you my favorite Wi-Fi manager? NMDUI. Literally the best. The most convenient for me. And I believe that's it for today's video because it was all about the difference, the new updates. And yep, I've covered most of them. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions for future videos. And I'll meet you next video. Till then, I'm Moon signing off.